the car coming up behind him. Yeah, that's fine. That's okay. Indicator? No, no, because we're actually pulled over on the, <laughs> on the road. So what we're going to be doing now is what they call a low speed maneuver. Mm -hmm. Low speed maneuver is something like a three point turn, three sorry, three point five turn. Um, also, um, we reverse parking is considered a low speed maneuver. And essentially, what we want to do is, as we're approaching the vehicle, we want to do the MIB, the mirror indicate brake, and line ourselves with the vehicle where basically our windscreen, uh, our windscreen, our mirrors are pretty much parallel to one another. Okay. Then what we want to do, obviously provided it's clear because, you know, we should make sure that it's clear from behind as well and then haven't come too close, is then put it into reverse and then slowly start the procedure. Uh, you are able to look over your shoulder uh, to see. It's not all focused on mirrors. But we want to be able to see the curve as we're turning mm -hmm. and we want to turn the in an anti-clockwise probably about halfway until we get to pillar b which we've got sorry pillar a which is the first pillar then we've got pillar b the second and then we've got pillar c which is the third one we're basically when the headlights are in line with pillar b we want to be able to start to turn the wheel and when the headlights pillar. are in line with pillar sorry. b when the tail lights are in line with pillar yep. B, that we want to be able okay. to do a full lock turn mm -hmm. to reverse the car. And then after that, we want to be able to turn anti-clockwise, sorry, clockwise, so that we can position the car to get it as close. The distance that we want from the gutter as well is probably no more than half a meter. Mm -hmm. Maybe at the moment it's a bit more than that, but we want to be a close distance to the gutter as well. Obviously, if we've got a narrow street, that we can still allow other vehicles to go. So, when we're ready, okay. uh, we can talk through it as well. Uh, we can put our seatbelts on. Disengage the handbrake. What you want to do is you want to have your mirrors in line with their mirrors but you want to be indicating as well okay. first to make sure anyone from behind yep. so look in my rear view mirror yep. side yeah that's right my blind spot or? yeah that's yep. right but if you want we can actually come back again because we've got a bit of distance away from the like car. I feel like I have a lot of distance from the car. Yeah, what we want to do is we want to be a bit more closer to the car because what's going to happen is as we turn, the car's going to swing out a bit. Okay. Uh, and then that's going to be create difficulty. So... so I'll just readjust. Um, look, I've, yes. I don't think that we've got any cars behind us, so that should be fine just yeah. to reverse mm -hmm. and making sure it's clear. Yeah. And we can do this a bit more and then we can come back in and we can actually do that again. So we're in a fairly quiet street. I feel like I have it. I will try again. Yeah, what we could do is have reverse and you can go back just a little bit. Go back. Here. There's no one there, so that'll be mm -hmm. fine. Yeah. And just see, come in nicely. Indicate. Uh, you want to get to the point where your mirrors are lining up. That's a lot better. Yep. Okay, so what we want to do from here mm -hmm. is we want to put the car into reverse. Okay. Yep, there's no one there. No. That's clear. And what we want to do is we want to start the, uh, the 
the process. Mm -hmm. You can turn the wheel slightly because what we want to do is basically be in a, a, a straight position like so mm -hmm. and then turning so that pillar B and their headlights will be lining up and you'll be on a bit of an angle. So right now I'm stationed at pillar A. I need to now use pillar B as a guide yes. with the reversing and um, the reversing and the yep. moving of the car. Yeah, yep. that's right. So it's fine. We can do this a I'm number very of times. Nervous, yep. That's okay. We can do this a number of times and, and that, that's absolutely fine. So we want to be able to sort of, because this is one of those things that essentially it's not always going to be a quiet street. Yes. Um, like right now there's no one. If we're on a busier street, there's adding that pressure as well. So we want to be able to master on the quieter streets mm -hmm. so we can do it on uh, the busier streets as well. So that's fine. So Just I go. can reverse a bit and then that's correct. turn slightly. Yep. That's fine. That's right, and turn. That's right, see now we've got pillar B lined up with their headlights, mm -hmm. sorry, their tail lights, yep. and we're actually on a bit of an angle, which is good. So we can continue and fall off. Mm -hmm. That's fine, and you, that's right, we've got your side mirrors, and what you want to do is you want to start the, turning the other way now. As I'm reversing. Yep, and slowly turning full off the other way. Yeah. Keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. I'm at full lock now. Yeah, that's fine. And slowly, we're just about to hit mm -hmm. the gutter there. Yes. So what we can do... Just yeah. A little bit more. What's going to happen is we're actually yep. dead on an angle now. Yes, I see We want that. to be able to sort of swing over because we want to all do it in one seamless motion, but that's fine that you can get a bit of a feel for it too. So do I come out again and start? Well, look, we have the opportunity to do it. So because okay. we've got the opportunity, we'll take advantage of it yep. until so we just... can get it as one seamless motion. So but Indicate. Uh, no. No, you, you don't, don't need indicate. to indicate. You just, what you need to do is reposition yourself to get forward. So... It. Turning the wheel. Okay, turning the wheel and slowly. Slow. That's right. Now, what we want to do is we want to try and get that reverse back in again. But I'm not lined up with the uh, side mirrors of the car next yep, to me. That, I have to jump in the gun there, so that's fine. Do you want to start the whole process again? Yes. So just to sort of yes. okay, that's fine. What we can do is just straighten ourselves up, mm -hmm. straighten the wheel up, and just align yourself. Yeah. And then we'll reverse. No, no, just reverse just out so we can actually come in straight to the entry point. That's fine. Like I said, because we're on a quiet street. Yeah. Okay. No, no, we want to reverse. We want just to reverse? Right or? out, so then oh, we can right start out. the whole yep. process again. Okay. Yep. That's right. So we want to get in, not too close, but we want to get in nice. So obviously we can manoeuvre with that. That's it, just about there. Yep. Yeah, indicate. Back, and that's it. And as we're slowly starting to reverse, you want to kind of just use the wheel a bit so we can sort of get on a little bit of an angle until the point that pillar B and the tail lights, where basically if their car is there, your car is sitting almost at like a two o'clock position. Like if you can so imagine. So do I turn at a full lock when I'm at pillar B? You want to slowly start yeah. to it and then we'll we'll get into that. Okay. So turn the wheel. And stop. So you want that sort of yep. line up? Now we've still sort of come out of the I feel like I'm too far out. Out. Yeah, that's fine. So what we can, I can do. Readjust. Uh, no, no, we can continue now. Continue. Do a full yeah. lock. I've 
Yeah. And Before reverse. Yeah. yeah, no more. That's it. Keep on going. Now, brake. Yeah. Now, what we want to do is we want to turn the wheel the other way. Clockwise, that's right. And continue to reverse as we're doing that as well. So just put your foot on the brake. We don't really need acceleration here. Yep. And other way. Uh, no, no, want to keep on reversing okay. like that. And just making sure that there's nothing behind us using the mirrors yeah. as well. Yeah. That's it, we've still come in on a bit of a bum angle. Yes. That's all right. I'm we'll get this. Nice. We'll get this. That's fine. Is there a car? No. Okay. That's fine. What we can do is we can reverse out. A little bit more. Yeah, and then come out and we can start again. Come because we're still kind of like, okay. we want to kind of get into that good position before we start working mm -hmm. on that. So, ready? I feel like I'm not going to get this done. No, we will. That is going to be fine. This is a whole process of learning. See, because you want to be able to feel confident in the quiet streets so that yes. you can feel confident in. in Narrow, narrow streets. Yeah, that's right. Busy. What we'll do is we'll try this. I'll get you to concentrate on the steering wheel, and I've got the dual controllers. Okay. And I'll do the accelerator. So I'll take my feet off. Yeah, the that's right. So what you can do is concentrate just alone on the steering, mm -hmm. so you know what to do. So firstly, obviously, we're indicating there's mm -hmm. no one behind us. No. Okay, fantastic. And what we want to do is, as we're reversing the car, I'll give the I'll control the brake and the accelerator, so you don't need to. So I can take. Yep, it off you can take your foot off the brake. Yep, and you control yep. the steering. Now, what we want to do is, as we're going backwards, we want to do a full lock. Right. So just as I'm going backwards, yep. so do a full lock. Essentially, what we want to do is. If I'm lined up correctly, that's when I can do a full lock. Is that what you're saying? Uh, no, no, no. As we're reversing, we want to do yes. a full lock. So I think I'm being a little bit unclear too. As we're reversing, we want to do a full lock yep. until the point where our middle pillar lines up with the headlights, the headlights. so that we the can back. we can see that. Yep. And essentially, you'll have the vehicle that's parked, and you'll be at a two o'clock position. Yep. Then, once we're there, we want to go the other way clockwise, and then drive into that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you control the steering wheel, and I'll do the the pedals, and then we can try that. We can try that a lot. Um, Doing both. We'll, we'll okay. see how that goes. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so all right. we've got to put it in reverse. Okay, we're in reverse. Mm -hmm. Great. Now we don't even need accelerating, but you want to be doing the steering wheel. Turning, 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 turning. Yep, yep. now pillar. our pillar is in line with the with tail light. The, yes. Okay. And we're basically on pretty much on an angle. Yes, we are. What we want to do now, I think we'll just give it a little bit more room, is we want to start to turn the other way and continue to reverse. So essentially, the way that it works is it works as like a little bit of a snake, like a, like a seamless mm -hmm. motion. That's how you want to do it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so start turning the other way, and I'll take my foot off the train. That's it. That's it. See, and we're not even using any acceleration at the moment at all. And that's it, that's excellent. Well done. There we go. And see how we're using the brake pedal just to adjust ourselves. That's it. Now, as I said, we can also go back up to seven meters provided that there's, there's no one there. enough space. Now, I feel that I can go back a bit more as I have no car behind yeah, me. Yeah, now that's fine. Let's have a look yeah. at how far we are from the gutter as well. We're still a little bit far yes. off the gutter. Mm -hmm. You want to be, see where the tarmac part just ends? Mm -hmm. And then you've got the little gutter part. You you want your wheels to be on that gutter part. If you are in that, then you've done excellent part. Okay. If you were to, if you were on the test and they'd measure that, they'd be like, whoa, That's a lot of space <laughs> half our car. Because roads are very different. Some roads yes. are a bit more narrow than others. But if you want, we can reverse a little bit more and then we can start moving forward. Yep. So we can just go like so. 
and then what we want to do is we want to move in. So we've got to put it in dry. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Now if we go all the way, look at how much more closer we are now. Mm -hmm. Look how well, one minute we were, we were, we're yes. almost a metre out. Now we've already chopped it mm -hmm. into half a metre. So even just that small motion that you've just done has created that gap. Now what we want to do is we want to straighten up the wheel and go clockwise. Clockwise. And we want to be straight. We've got to have the wheel straight. Okay. Now we're really close to the yes. vehicle in front of us at the moment. We've got a pretty good distance. That's still that's still pretty good. Maybe a little bit far out, bit but we are. But we're really good for the attempt. But the other issue is then obviously we don't want to be too close. Too close. So if we are just to reverse back okay. a little bit, we'd probably want to be about there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now obviously some cars are raised some cars are lower so it's very hard to say from your bonnet to their plates where you can see it you've got to be able to judge a little bit depending on the vehicle that you have mm -hmm. but with this vehicle we could say that from that position you are in a good gap okay. so after that what we would do is we put it in park mm -hmm. and handbrake up excellent and then we turn off the vehicle And we have done reverse parallel parking. Yes, I still don't feel com confident. Yeah, no, that's fine. I need to. Um, yeah. But how different was it? Yes. Just doing the steering. Com because I was concentrating. Not balancing out. On only a few things that's as right. opposed to all. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Did you also notice, I don't know if you picked it up, I don't, I used no acceleration whatsoever. Mm -hmm. I let the car uh, roll, roll with itself it's and just control. The only thing I did use is obviously the brake, yes. just to give us a bit, okay, not too much, not too much. So if you'd like, we can reverse back up, mm -hmm. uh, then we can do it again.